Yeah, hey, good evening, Steve. So this story has really caught the eye of so many people nationwide. And so Eyewitness News, we were able to get a look at that search warrant and also that outlines some things that happened while uh, Javion was here in town. And then also, we also got the preliminary autopsy report, but these findings just still don't sit well with this family. Tonight, the family of Javion McGee, a 21-year-old truck driver from the suburbs of Chicago, grieving an unthinkable loss. He loved his family. You know, he, he loved uh, just enjoying himself, and he loved being a truck driver. That was what he loved to do. So it's like everybody is confused right now. Like, what is this? Candace Matthews, the family's representative, is sharing the latest thoughts of Javion's closest loved ones. Their world in turmoil after they say Vance County Sheriff's Office called them to say their loved one died by suicide. The Sheriff's Office says there's no sign he was a victim of a crime. Eyewitness News combed through the search warrant. According to those documents, he was in town making a delivery. At 6.20 p.m. on September 10th, he was seen on camera buying a rope at this Walmart, apparently the same rope found with his body. Twelve minutes later, he was seen entering this Hampton Inn on Ruin Creek Road. An associate at the hotel told us off camera they didn't have any rooms available that night. He then drove to Vanco Mill Road, where surveillance video shows his truck pulling in and McGee walking away. Then just after 10 a.m. on September 11th, a 911 call led officers to McGee's body. There's been information put out there that there's a lynching in Vance County. There is not a lynching in Vance County. The young man was not dangling from a tree. He was not swinging from a tree. The rope was wrapped around his neck. It was not a noose. It was not a knot in the rope. So therefore, it was not a lynching here in Vance County. The sheriff tells us the state attorney general and the SBI have been contacted and are involved in the case. The family feels that they deserve accountability and the family feels that they deserve justice. And this is what we are all going to do to ensure that that family gets some type of closure. Now, in terms of that autopsy report, the sheriff tells me that there is no cause of death just yet. They were able to also determine so far that there are no obvious signs that he was trying to defend himself, but there are signs that there was some hemorrhaging around the soft part of his neck. Uh, another thing that they're waiting on regarding this autopsy that hasn't come in yet is also the toxicology report. So they're also waiting on that. So again, a lot of details still unknown so far. We're told the family is still due to make their way here to Vance County to learn more details about their loved one's death. Reporting live here in Vance County, Bianca Holm at ABC 11 Eyewitness News. And several investigative agencies are now involved working to get JV on's family those answers they, uh, they really want. Bianca, thank you.